Hi, Zach Hartle here. I want to talk today about uh, something called Pythagorean's Theorem. And what Pythagorean's Theorem is used for, it's for solving the lengths of the sides of a right angle triangle. So if we take this right angle triangle here, we're going to solve for different lengths of the sides. Now we're going to solve, we'll just do it once, but using that same formula we can transpose it to solve any sides. So when we're looking at a right angle triangle, it's important what we label the sides. Now what really matters is that we are going to call the hypotenuse up here, right, the hypotenuse being the side directly across from the 90 degree angle, we're going to call that C, and it's always going to be C. Now what doesn't really matter is our horizontal value and our vertical value. These can be either A or B. It doesn't really matter for the way our formula works. So the way the formula works is we are going to use the formula Pythagorean's theorem C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now because we're adding A and B, it doesn't matter which one is which. C, however, always has to be the hypotenuse. So in this case, we're going to say that uh, this down here is 30, and this over here is 40. Obviously, this triangle is not drawn to scale, but if we're trying to calculate out what C is, we need to transpose this formula. So at the end of the day, we are looking for C on its own. So because we're looking for C on its own, we're going to take that formula, uh, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. We're looking for C on its own not squared, meaning we actually are going to square root C, so those will cancel each other out. Remember, whatever we do to one side of a formula, we have to do to the other. So what we end up with is C alone equals square root of A squared plus B squared. Now everything that's underneath this square root symbol when we're putting it into our calculator, we want to put it in brackets. So what we end up with is C equals the square root of 30 squared, right? Well, so we're calling this right now A, plus 40 squared, meaning we are calling this B. And we want to put that all into brackets when we type it into our calculator. We type that in. At the end of it, we get C equals... 50. So that means this side here is 50. That's how you would use Pythagorean's theorem to solve for the hypotenuse if you had the other two. Now if we were dealing with a situation where we maybe had uh, the hypotenuse in one of the two sides, we would simply take this same formula and we would transpose it a little bit differently. So hypothetically, really quick, let's say we don't know that A is 30. We have our hypotenuse is 50 and our other side is 40, what we would do then is we would actually transpose to go A equals C squared minus B squared. And that would be how we would solve the third side. So just a little bit way of transposing. So we're transposing now for A minus B, move that over, square root of A, square root of C squared minus B squared. So that's how we would solve that. Uh, I do hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you watch my other videos. Thanks a lot.